I purchased a new Makita mower. This is an electric mower. My last mower, which was a two-stroke, was about 30 years old. <clears throat> and it made so much noise that I think it pissed the neighbours off. <laughs> because, you know, the cylinders would have all been worn out and flogged out. I went down to Bunnings. I bought a petrol mower to replace the two-stroke. But I just couldn't get it started. It had a Briggs & Stratton motor, probably made in Asia somewhere. Couldn't get it started, so I took it back down to Bunnings and they refunded my money because they couldn't get it started either. Anyway, I, I always buy Makita tools. All my power tools and that are grinders and they're all Makitas. So I, I decided to have a go with a Makita lawnmower. And anyway... I hadn't mown my lawns for about two months. It's winter time and the grass isn't really growing much. But I started this thing. I mowed that strip behind the mower there. Um, and after I had mowed that, because of the grass was quite long, I thought, well, I'll empty the catcher. So I pulled the catcher off and, hello, no grass in it. And then I said to myself, geez, it must be a mulching mower. But the thing is, with the, with the old style mulching, mulching mowers, you seem to get grass everywhere. But this thing, you know, it, it just looks like a, a lawn that you've mowed with the catcher. I'm, I'm, I'm really staggered. I, I wish I had bought one 10 or 20 years ago. Now, you can get ones with steel bodies and you can get ones with alloy bodies. But in the end, this, this motor mower, that's a bare motor mower... Uh, without the batteries, only cost about six hundred and forty dollars, somewhere around there. And then I, uh, but because I had Makita power tools, I'm able to use my old battery charger from my Makita drills. And then I went out and bought um, two six amp hour yeah, six amp hour batteries. And you know the thing just goes. I th I thought oh I might run out of juice and that and what a beauty I have to say. Okay, see you.